If you do good, you will get good. Mm -hmm. If you do bad, you will get bad. That's, you know, in the most simple terms, mm -hmm. there are degrees of, of good, degrees of bad. Sometimes there's mixtures of good and bad in the same activity. Okay. But the thing is, for all, for all these things that we've done, in this life and in previous lifetimes, there are natural consequences, appropriate reactions. Not, not that if you do something a little good, you'll get some huge good re reaction. Or if you do something a little bad, you'll get a huge bad reaction. It's all very appropriately arranged by God. Okay. who is highly intelligent. So therefore, in this lifetime, someone may be basically what people would call a good person, but in their previous lifetime or lifetimes, plural, they, they may well have done some bad things. But oftentimes, what you have done in your immediate previous lifetime, you only get the reactions in this lifetime. So therefore, there may appear to be a, an imbalance, you could say, that here's someone good, and tragedy comes to them. Yeah. Or here's someone bad, and, you know, some extreme good fortune comes. So this is the reason why you could say, anything happens to anyone, including bad things happening to good people. Let me just mention another important aspect is that many people who are basically sort of pleasant, you could say good, you know, they're, they're nice enough people, but many of them, because they don't understand the intricacies of what is good, what is bad, and how these things work. Many people are engaged unknowingly in doing bad things, which will produce bad results. It could be immediately, it could be next life, but sooner or later. But for example, according to Bhagavad Gita and the other Vedic scriptures, uh, to kill animals and to eat their flesh, meat eating, is a bad activity. You're killing an innocent creature. Who, who has given us the right to do that? We have just assumed the right. And unfortunately, it's a bad activity, which you'll get bad reaction for. But, but I know many people who are otherwise basically, you know, they're pleasant people. They're not like aggressive, uh, pe nasty people in, in their general relationships. Mm -hmm. But, you know, out of ignorance or habit or whatever like that, they're doing certain things which are bad and they will get the consequences in due course. And, you know, sometimes people try to argue that, well, if you don't know it's bad, why should you get a bad reaction? Sure. But you could then say that a child, for example, a child does not know that fire burns. And therefore, you know, I did it, I remember vividly doing it as a child. I put my hand in fire to pick up something and my hand got burnt because it's just the way, you know, <clears throat> it's the way this world works. So ignorance is not really an excuse. Yeah. And if we, if we play with fire, we'll get burnt, whether we know about it or not. 